Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy and today I have an easy keto recipe for you guys. I have spoke about this one on numerous occasions. It is my Jersey Mike's copycat sub in a tub. So good. So I wanted to go ahead and bring that to you guys in case you were interested in trying it out. You know I like everything in a bowl. I got a hamburger in a bowl, pizza in a bowl, lasagna in a bowl. I like to do everything in a bowl. One quick, easy step in a bowl. So I'm going to show you guys how I make it, throw everything together, and what I put in it. If you're not subscribed, I would love it if you went ahead and done so. I would love to have you as a member of my YouTube family. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll have my name at the bottom of the screen so you can follow me there. I'll do sneak peeks and before and after pictures. You got to go check out some of my before and after pictures. And I also have a Facebook group, All Things Keto with Christy. It's a wonderful group of people and you're really going to enjoy it if you're starting out new on keto or you've been doing it a while. They can answer so many of your questions. It's a really helpful group. So make sure you check it out. It'll be linked in the description box below. So I can just click on that and it'll take you right on over. So let's go ahead and get started and let me show you everything I'm putting in my sub in a tub. Today, I am bringing you the sub in a tub. This is my copycat version of the one Jersey Mike's has and the one I always get when I go. So basically, the turkey and provolone. Does this not look amazing? So we got everything here but the carby bread that we don't want. Ever since I mentioned the make your own sub in a tub at home, I have been getting tons of emails, DMs, and messages from you guys wanting to know how I make it and all the ingredients I use. So today, I'm going to show you everything that I put in mine at home and it tastes eerily similar to the one you get at Jersey Mike's. So let's go over what you're going to need. This is one of the main ingredients. This is the Wickle Spicy Red Sandwich Spread and this is from Walmart. So check your Walmart. It's down the pickle aisle. It's around $2.98 and this is one of your main ingredients for this sub in a tub. You're going to need, well, you can use whatever cheese you want. My favorite sub in a tub from Jersey Mike's is the turkey and provolone. So this is just provolone cheese that I pick up at Aldi. It's just slices. This is just boar's head turkey that I pick up in the deli section at my local grocery store. You're going to need some lettuce. So you can either go with a lettuce head or shredded lettuce already. I like mine pre-shredded so I don't have to do it. Whatever pickles that you want. I like to use the spicy atomic pickles from Aldi. These are in the refrigerated section, but you can use plain pickles. You're going to want to pick up some pickles that have no sugar added, and these don't. If you've ate at Jersey Mike's before and had their sub in a tub, you know that this red sauce that they put on there has a little bit of a kick, and that's why I like to use the atomic spicy pickles because it gives it more of a kick. Then you're going to need red wine vinegar and some oil, either avocado oil or olive oil. Since I don't have any olive oil, we're going to go with avocado today. Then on top of the sub in a tub at Jersey Mike's, they add in some spices and I'm not really sure what those are, but this is the closest that I have found. This is the green zest from Dax Spices. I love all of their spices. None of them have sugar added that I've picked up. You'll want to read the ingredients and none of them have any salt. That way you can add your own pink salt to it and not have to worry about just plain white salt. So this is what's going in my sub in a tub. You can add other items that you want like onions or um, banana peppers, things like that. This is just my version and the one that I love. I like to use one of the larger Pyrex bowls that I have just to put everything in. It's easier to handle and hold. We're going to start out with our lettuce. I don't measure anything out, so I'm not going to have the macros for you. You're going to know that this is low carb by the ingredients that I'm putting in it. So I'm going to start out by putting just my lettuce on the bottom. And I put quite a bit. Next, I'm going to take my deli meat. This is Boar's Head. It is probably my favorite deli meat, and it is in the deli section at several places near me. I think Kroger's has it. Ingles has it. Just check your uh, deli section at your grocery store. If this isn't what you want or they don't have it, get whatever your favorite deli meat is to put on here. 
This is several pieces. Let me see, there's one, two, three, four pieces here. This is shaved on a one. I don't like it shaved completely down. I like it when you can basically pull it apart in case you want to make a sandwich so it's right before it gets shaved. I'm actually going to go ahead and cut all of this up and put it in here because I've not ate today. To my lettuce and turkey, I'm going to be adding in my cheese of choice. Provolone is always my favorite. So I'm going to take two slices of provolone cheese and cut those up. Next up is pickles, and we already discussed the ones I'm using, the Atomic Spicy from Aldi. Use whichever ones that you like that have no sugar added. I like these because, again, it gives it a little bit of a kick. I'm not going to add too many, just probably four. And I'm going to cut those up into smaller little pieces so they're more like a relish instead of a whole pickle. Then I add the Wickle Spicy Red Sandwich Spread, and one tablespoon of this is one net carb, one total carb actually, and I'm gonna add probably a little bit more than that, probably closer to two tablespoons. I absolutely adore this stuff, it is so good. Next is gonna be our spices and seasonings and our liquids. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out with my fat. Again, I'm using avocado oil. If you've got olive oil, use it. Those are probably the two best to use. Not gonna measure, just gonna drizzle it over it. This is basically our dressing. And of course we want those fats because we got some carbs going on there with the lettuce and the pickles. Then your red wine vinegar. I just picked this one up. I think it Ingles. This, I love red wine vinegar. I cannot be the only one. I swear, I think I could drink this stuff. So I'm just going to shake it on there. And then your spices. This is the Dax, like I said. And this one is the Green Zest. Let me tell you what all's in here. Let me see. Spices are dehydrated onions, garlic, lemon peel, and and other spices. It smells heavenly, and I'm just gonna shake this over top, just like that. And that is everything that I put in my sub in a tub. This is the closest I can get to a copycat from Jersey Mike's. Look at all that. It is delicious, very filling, and I'm not spending like $13 on one. These are so good. Make sure you check out the Wickles Pickle Spread. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to love that. It's not really spicy hot. It's just got a little bit of a twang to it. Can't explain it, but it's so good. You can add other items to this if you want. If you don't have those spices that we were talking about a minute ago, you could probably Google and find out what spices are in Jersey Mike's uh, seasoning that they put on there and duplicate those yourself. I'm just lucky enough that I'd already picked up the green zest and that's exactly what this reminds me of. I will sprinkle a little bit of pink salt on this. Got to keep that sodium up and that's it. I will enjoy this and it will keep me full the entire afternoon. So make sure you check out some of my other recipes. I try to do really simple, easy, low-carb, keto-friendly recipes for you guys. So I have an entire playlist. I'll have that linked at the very end in the um, end cards for you guys. So all you got to do is just click on it, or you can just go to my channel and check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has an amazing week. Tell me what items you would put in your sub in a tub in the comments below that I didn't put in mine. Is there certain things at Jersey Mike's that you like that I didn't add into it? Because, you know, we all like our subs a little different. So let me know below because, you know, I need some ideas. I might add some more stuff to mine. I'll see you in my next video. I hope you have an amazing week. Bye. What are you doing, buddy? We had to change his pajamas. We put his sweater back on. He did have on pajamas, but they had front and back legs in them and he was not happy.